Hey you, welcome. Are you ready to see some sick sniper play? Well, then you come to the right place. And if you didn't want to see some sick sniper play, well, then this is also the place. Let's get into it, shall we? We have the big C right here, Sulu, playing as the Wehrmacht. And his opponent is none other than Pax Ajax, aka Thunderbird. Mm hmm. And you will notice that I have finally gotten around to turning off uh, the player decals, except for the structures. But units, they'll no longer carry their um, colors. Grenadiers assembled. So it should make for a more immersive experience, I hope. Anyway, Zulu locked in Assault Grenadiers and Pax fell. Is anyone really surprised that Pax went to Advanced Infantry? No? He loves going Advanced Infantry. It's his bread and butter. His muse is a lover. Right there. But for now, everything is just quiet here in Toronto. Oh, never mind. Shot fired. A shot. Two shots. Three shots. Three shots. Five. Many shots fired. Territory captured. They've seen us. Move. MG42 and crew available. Yeah. All right, that player. <laughs> Just making sure that he's not getting flanked while capping this, but what do you know? He may just be. Uh, the pioneers are not going down to the fuel, and thus the scouts they stick around. I want sandbag fortifications at this position. Yeah, Pax. Opening up with the double scouts here. That's going to be useful. Um, to help him dodge the MGs on the field. Or at least the one and only MG that's currently here. But we'll see if Zulu will go for more HMGs. For now, Pax may just think so. As we can see that he's building a mortar. Scout there may just have spotted the heavy machine gun as it is getting in closer. Oh, he's sprinting, sprinting towards the scouts. The scouts see it. Scouts, they may be have elver eyes, but they cannot run as fast as a horse. And they don't have a bow. But here's someone who is just as a uh, sharp shooter with the bow as he is with the rifle. It is the sniper, though I've never seen him actually fire an arrow. But he's the a marksman. Up in heads. Day and night. All right, first the match that I've seen from us. with the uh, new and improved sniper. Let's see how well Sulu here can handle the sniper. You will pay for your crime, says Pax. <laughs> Referring to the... Uh, the sniper, I believe. Pax, he is reacting to the sniper as he's now Sector building lost. a half track. He did go for the infantry support center here, so he can't directly build a quad mount. He has to first build the half track, then upgrade it with the quad. You need my services? Now 
Mm -hmm. with the scout car on the field to the wheel he will have an option to upgrade it to a hunter buxer so that it can easily destroy the half track which is soon to be a quad mount i guess as we can see on this side of the screen down here quad mount Reconnaissance. Might want to upgrade this to the Panzer Buxer. Yeah, okay, he does so immediately. The enemy has taken a victory point. Hmm. Oh, he actually cancelled the Panzer Buxer upgrade. Okay, so he's confident that he can. Oh, never mind. Confidence be damned. We have lost the kitten, All right, we see here the sniper gets away, but mm, the kitten destroyed by. Yeah, not the quad mount, as we can see down here at the box. The kill count says zero vehicle kills. Commandant, you have command points available. We are losing control of a sector. Oh, wait, what? Didn't he just. Well, here it is. The Panzer Buxer. So far, the sniper is up to nine kills. Good on him. He's keeping up with that one kill per the minute. Enemy have taken our territory. Which was a kind of the uh, benchmark you'd use in uh, Company of Heroes 2. And I suppose the same goes for Coke 3. Keeping that sniper in the action. But don't keep him directly in the action. Keep him at a distance. Oh, but the action came to him. As the rifles they dove in, and snatched the sniper, and they just dodged the shoe mining in the middle of the road. What did he a Panzer Faust got temporarily dizzy, but managed to escape without accumulating engine damage, having just two HP above the threshold for engine damage. got the Jaegers on the field and yeah they won't be sniping as they are getting a answer strike you could also upgrade them with the g43 scoped rifles for increased accuracy but then again panzer shrek it really puts the shrek in the panzers or in the half track in this case do we have down here at the road Indirect fire. Yeah. well Pax is not doing anything to hide the beacon it's just sitting there in the open well it's still cloaked but it is a 
rather frequently traveled path and yeah 50 manpower gone we have a surplus of command points available at least he could have hit it behind the bushes then again he may have gotten a little bit greedy with the uh, reach of the beak first ranger squad carrying a flamethrower and well something else that i can't really tell we have lost the sector wait a minute is that double flamethrower no not is he throwing his half track nope he's not half tracks still alive and well So they only had a flamethrower. Who picked up the other weapon that came with the weapon crate? We have advanced weaponry ready to be deployed. No. Oh, it's right there. It's... Okay, he did get a bazooka, but he's not picking it up. Yet. And what do you know? Sniper has respawned. Lost all his kill counts, though. He's back to two. And the advanced logistic upgrade is coming out for Thunderbird. You do really want that whenever you have your Rangers. It makes a world of difference between paying 45 manpower per Ranger model versus 33. Anyway, Sulu does have counters to the Rangers. Impressive fire is one thing. Sniper. The oh, yes. And once the verbal then gets up to Vet 1, that's when you can use the suppressive fire ability. Which is surprisingly one of the Rangers' few uh, weaknesses. Suppressive fire. They don't have a smoke grenade. I would also say that uh, mines is a good way of bleeding rangers, but uh, a recent clip has resurfaced, uh, not resurfaced, but surfaced, where it shows a red free ranger squad just casually walking over a mine, and uh, yeah, they didn't lose any bottles. Just shows how to tough um, red free rangers really are. And another beacon down. Pax not having any success with his artillery beacons. Blitzkrieg tactics are available for vehicle crews. They shall lead the way. The enemy has claimed our territory for their own. Research completed. <laughs> what? Did it just run over the fence? No, never mind. It was the officer quarters. <laughs> it was the officer quarters. For a second there, it looked like <laughs> this is a scout car gained veterancy by knocking over a fence. Ah. <laughs> oh, well. More firepower coming out for Sulu. He's building his two centimeter meter flat gun. And more rangers on the ground. Armed with one bazooka. He has the range of weapon training, which gives a bunch of different uh, buffs for the rangers' weapons. Seven kills for the sniper. Oh, you don't want to sprint into this one, Pax. Oh, he's getting close, though. Five first first rounds. Scares off the Rangers and Soup Boys. Oh, 
All right. Axis mortar reaching that one. And he went with the airburst shells. That is going to be very handy when fighting the heavy machine gun and also the flak. Uh-oh. Little bit of flanking maneuvering here from Zulu. Panzer command tank. Oh, I wanted to see the tiger. Well, if I want to see the tiger, I have to go to the zoo. Or weapon arrives. And we got a bazooka plus Browning machine gun. Command tank is ready for your orders. Yeah, Browning machine gun. I think what the Browning does, you know, the LMG, it gives reduced accuracy to the to those who are being hit by the weapon, while flamethrower slows down the target, and then there's bar which suppresses up close. Oh man, the Rangers just ran right past the black gun here. Two centimeter flak gun is silent. Rangers lead the way, but they ran into it. It's impressive fire. But Pax, he's trying to clean up. Can he destroy the black gun behind the trees? Nope. Soon he just managed to recruit it in the last moment. Uh, Zulu now bringing out the Panzer Command tank and oh! taken down by the Grenadiers. Now here's the flak. So it's in a poor condition. Is he gonna send in the command tank? No. Two flamethrowers on this Ranger squad right there. No souks for them. Enemy cannot call in more weapons next the munitions but he is taking up. up meanwhile from what i can tell zulu has not taken up any further 14 kills on this sniper all right oi, oi, oi. Moving flame for us. It is. What's that? Oh, how about the VP? The artillery observers get to observe their own death. Bullet by bullet. You have three command points at your disposal. Mm. We have the squad the survives, but at what cost? Here we see. Yeah, second attempt. And Pax manages to destroy the two centimeter flak gun. Helped along the way by the mortar team, which used its air bursting shells to decrew it. And Zulu is getting a little bit mad as he now goes for sniper number three. Beaten by a couple of eggheads and and some scouty boys. 
Damn. Eyes on the sky. We have lost control of a victory point. Is this? That's just a normal Sherman being built by hacks. He might regret that. Or he might not. Seeing as the normal Sherman may just be okay in this situation here. Given how the Sherman is not going to be fighting any heavy armor or panzer force for that matter. Maybe a dozer would also have been fine. Oh, hit a mine. Oh, man, they ran straight into the pain train. Now the pain train is after them. And there we go. Go, go, normal Sherman. Always a disappointment. <laughs> oh. An artillery beacon here on the road. Huh. Well, I suppose we could should give points to Pax this time as it is actually behind some bushes, but it's still on an open road. Uh less frequent by German forces. Mm -hmm. So it might be able to do some good. It has a cooldown second of 45 seconds, I believe. So it's gonna keep Sulu on his toes in this area here as he will uh, at regular intervals see flares falling down from the sky accompanied by some shells like right about now that would be good yep. beep, 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 beep. the stone age iron cannon is firing it's not very effective oh Sherman, Come you utter disappointment of engine. The enemy has oh. remaining. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the regular Sherman. Give it a round of. Eh. At least it's cheaper than the Dozer there's that anywho vet 2 sniper and the other one three kills on the new b 20 on the veteran victory point lost <laughs> healing while getting shot at okay Oh, Lobberino! Whoops. Got car down. Couldn't handle the Rangers. The Rangers have brute forced their way in, and while they may have been suppressed, just not enough for the scout car to escape. You need a problem removed? You take him, I'll take him. We will end this. The enemy right. has only right, these left. guys, they were perfectly in async. I mean, enemy. they were not in sync then, and they would have been fired at the same model at the same time. Huh. Worked out well there for Sulu. Oh, here's something big. It's the broom bear, the speedy death potato. No, right now it's just parked. We have command points evading use. Oh no, Pax. Pax. He believes in the mediocre power of the mediocre Sherman. Report the Allies have only 200. I seem points. to recall a time, like at launch, the normal Sherman was actually good. Right now it's, yeah, well, I said it, mediocre at best, at least in my opinion.
Diving in. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. But both snipers manages to retreat without taking too much damage. Looking at the VPs, Sulu has managed to get himself a solid lead over Pax. Oh, one mine. Half of the squad is gone. But the suits still closing in. Here comes the Ranger squad carrying double flamers, but then no AT. Second mine, and that's a wipe. <laughs> Poor Pax. Uh, what's happening in the base? Nothing. <laughs> Back to the action. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's uh, see. The Ranger squad still two flamers on the selected squad, and the other squad two LMGs, two suits. Cannot afford another weapon drop. But what he can afford is a of the normal Sherman. Oh, whenever you need more disappointment in your life, then there is the Sherman. What should he go for instead, in my opinion? Dozer. I think the Dozer would be fine here. Or a Hellcat. Hellcat should have much better chances of penetrating the front of the Brumbear. But holy macaroni. 300 frontal armor for the Brumbear. And the Sherman has a penetration rate of 180 up close and 110 at long range. Which makes it like one and a third shot penetrates the Brumbeth frontal armor. Bastards have secured our territory from us. We have 300 points remaining. Ranger man, ranger man, you can't rush into the MG man. Captain though, he manages to motivate one of the rangers to push ahead. Get behind here. The HMG has been disabled for now and the rangers are getting in real close here, but the holy macaroni. What the heck just happened there, Pax? Yeah, Pax, he just sent in all his troops and... Yeah, well, something died. Can't remember what. He's trying to disengage here with his Shermans. Oh, he lost one of his Ranger squads. It was the one with the double souks that went down. And now he may just lose his normal Shermans here. Is he gonna send them back out to the battlefield in this condition? Oi! Oh no, he accidentally uh, ordered. Fueled and ready for targets. He accidentally ordered the artillery observers to tank ride. Ugh, the number of times that I have also done that. Mm hmm. Oh no. Second broom bear has arrived. Mm, Pax, he really needs a Hellcat, but oh no, he goes for another normal Sherman. Okay. Uh, I hope that Pax he took a look at this replay after he played this game match and reflected upon the usefulness of the Sherman and well what do you know he actually did 
cancels the normal Sherman, goes for the Hellcat. Ooh, and direct hit there by the Broom Bear. Sherman taking lots of damage. While not returning any damage. Oh, blitzing! <laughs> All these shots and they're just bouncing on the Broom Bear. Help! Man, this broom bear has barely been scratched and again double bounce. Our sniper has been killed. Oh, hello. Oh, the sniper taken down by an airburst shell, I guess. Oh, and there goes the barracks. Hellcat is here. Please don't throw it away. Oh, we may just throw it away. The, the Jaeger squad closing in, but forces the retreat. Hellcat the enemy is has taken a victory alive, but at what cost? Good, another Hellcat. Oh yeah, that was even the vetted sniper that bit the dust. Back in Zulu space, it's time to reinforce, heal, and repair. Giving Pax some much needed time to get back on the field here and get those VPs under his control so he can hopefully equalize the VP score. We do not hold any victory points. We must counterattack. Enemy forces have claimed our territory. Hex going for barracks again. Um, I guess he wants a new ranger squad. An MG 42 has been decrewed. Do not let it fall into enemy hands. Double hill cats. team is ready. Okay, nice pickup from Pax stealing the heavy machine gun. Anyway, the other sniper just reached Vet 2 with 15 kills. Goes for the Viper here on the Grins and he gets it, but he... Oh no. Oh dear. Yeah, that Hellcat got flattened by the German Blitzkrieg here. One black panzer down, white force was being used, but Brumbert gets a good shot in on the Hellcat. Hellcat trying to circle around. A uh, bit of the white phosphorus here it is in the way. Any Faust nearby? No, the Hellcat still has full mobility, but the Sherman turns around. What is this pathing? It's gone! And now there's only the Hellcat left. And it's one shot away from dying. Any attack rounds, maybe? Not a direct hit. Sits at 39 HP. He's trying to get back to the Allied base, but it is toast. Ooh. <sighs> hmm. So. Yeah, Pax lost his Sherman, two Hellcats, and destroyed a flak gun, and got a Grenadier squad fight. I'd say Zulu got out on top of that engagement. But uh, well, Pax, he got close to destroying the Command Panzer, but no cigar. Right, Rangers, let's see what's in the crate. Beginning research as ordered. No? Alright, we'll check back later. Um 
An LMG and a Zook. Okay, that's good. Hellcat. Been constructed. Ready for action once more. However, Sulu is getting side skirts installed. So his broom bears are now much, much beefier. Not only do they get extra armor, but also 80 extra HP. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. Man, the Hellcat is not really the threat it used to be. Pax is holding on to one of the VPs. What about Pax? Does he have? Yeah, okay, we have a engineer squad. <laughs> More broom bears. Mercy. Fast production too, thanks to the uh, rapid production ability. Uh, broom bears fueled and ready for targets. Fastest manufacturer in West Germany. Meanwhile, this 3D printer is not so fast. But it still gets the job done, eventually. Oh, uh, yeah, but this. If you ever come up against Pax, then uh, let it be known that Boom Bears, that is his counter. <laughs> oh, Auxiliary observers observes lots of incoming fire. The Hellcat has... Okay, there we go. Finally got a shot that penetrated, but... Oh, the Auxiliary Observer... They're going down. Oh, and he blows up his own mind. Hellcat. Oh, it's it's about to blow. The other Hellcat arrives, but couldn't save his comrade. And now the other broom bear can just retreat. Oh no! And there goes the ranger squad. Just as the VPs were about to be even. And a, and a very good manpower income compared to Sulu's. Hex <laughs> uh, spending his last bit of fuel here. His reserves, they are empty. And this thing here might not even be finished before the entire tank depot crumbles. Oh man, three boom bears in front of your face. And the Panzer Strike too. Uh. Pax, tap out! Please! Uh, I would like to, on behalf of Pax Ajax, offer a surrender. Uh, but yeah, Pax is not really listening here, is he? He is instead going with Zooks, but <sighs> going Zooks against free broom bears. Now that's desperation. Frontline report. Desperation the indeed. Left. But that's not stopping packs. Gotta have more Zooks. Eh. And with the triple cap in for Sulu, we have less than a minute. Unless Paxi can mount some sort of counter attack on the VP. Now is the time for action. The enemy has only 50 points left. Setting up. Team weapons. Okay. 
moving forward and these broom bears here are almost in top-notch condition just to steamroll overpacks flatten him all right engineers you will be taking the northern vp uh, no excuses i said no excuses don't die and they're gonna die yeah they did Bear train. Yeah, Sulu. Sulu, he has one. He can just throw all his tanks. Have fun. And there goes the Hellcat and the last hope or Pax. Who winning this game? <laughs> get broomed. And Pax, he did get broomed. Yeah, Pax with a closing statement. They severely overnerfed the Hellcat. The day is yours. What do you think? Hellcat overnerfed? Yes, no? Leave a comment down there. Let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you like this. And consider subscribing for even more. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.